welcome. My name is Debbie and this is Pouring My Art Out for the Lord. And I uh, had a dream last night. I don't know, maybe I wasn't even asleep. It might have just been my mind um, being busy. But I, I dreamed this, uh, this particular little piece of ephemera. So I thought that I would make it up this morning before I forgot what I was uh, dreaming of. And um, I thought I'd turn the camera on so I don't forget. And you guys can... Um, see what I've done and maybe do the same in your journals. So, This is uh, just a piece of paper from the Inspired Junk Journals God's Big Picture um, project. Um, if you're interested in that, there's details in the uh, description for uh, just going over to the coffee shop and look at that. Um, this is just a kind of a collage strip. It looks like a collage strip but it's it's actually just one piece of paper that I digitally made a collage strip using a few of the papers that are in the kit and uh, so what I did is I just cut a piece of um, paper I left it to be 11 inches long and I cut it to six inches high but you can do this absolutely any size that you want um, that will fit your journal so and then I folded over um, four and a half inches. I folded the bottom up four and a half inches and I folded um, the top down. I just left a little bit of a gap here about, um, I think it was ended up being three eighths of an inch gap and then I, I folded that over. And mine is actually going to be situated this way in, um, in my journal. So I thought I would, I just had this, this piece of paper, um, I was trying some different things and it's one-sided so I thought I would line it with some book page and this is Bible book page um, Bible book page is really um, use an old Bible use a Bible that's falling apart that you got at a, a thrift store or something like that don't use your good Bibles obviously for this but um, you know if you have a Bible that's kind of falling apart or half um, you know you can find them at thrift stores that are you know anyways that's my uh, I just wanted to point out, don't use your good Bible. Um, Bible page is really nice because it's super thin, but it's strong. So people who don't use Bible page are really missing out. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> I'm going to line this with... <coughs> So I coffee dyed um, just one side of this Bible page. I just have a little bit of strong coffee here. I use a cotton ball, I dip it in, and I do my little thing. I have another video on a lot more details on how I do that coffee dyeing process. So I'll, if I remember, I'll link that below as well. And then you can take a look at that if you're interested in more information about that. So I'm just going to cut a straight edge just along the text on this side and then I'm going to put this here I'm going to make it in three pieces um, let me just find my glue stick and I don't really like to have glue on my glass mat so I'll make glue on here instead this is done. This one still has some in. Okay, so just put glue all over there. And I'm going to sew around the perimeter, but I'm not going to sew on um, the um, vertical edges. So I'm just going to put uh, just a little dibble of glue on that edge so that this paper doesn't come up. And I'm going to put the text right up at the top so that uh, that, that is what shows when I trim this off. You can do whatever you like. So I'm just going to do it like that. I'll turn it over, trim off the excess. If you're uh, in my Inspired Junk Journal class, um, I was teaching you to, uh, or not teaching you, but 
just uh, advising you to save all your little scraps because we're going to do some collage a little later in the classes. So uh, I just have a little old mushroom container and I throw all my scraps in there and when it comes time for collage then I have lots of scraps there. So there's one side. Then I need this side. I'm just going to fold these back to make it easier on myself. And do another oh, application of glue. Oh, that was the right one. Application of glue there. And any sides that you're not going to sew, I would just get a little thin line of uh, you don't really even have to. I mean, this is this is very, very thin Bible book page. I think I probably, this is maybe a bit of overkill, but that's what I want to do. And then this one, I'm just going to kind of center. I'm going to put the top down here so I can just see a little better. And maybe even, well, I'm just going to even trim this off because then I'll know exactly where to line it up. Okay, and I'm just going to center the text from side to side, line it up right at the top, and there we go. Okay, and I'll turn that off. You don't have to use Bible book page, you could even use coffee dyed paper. Um, we are going to use the inside for um, journaling space or well, you could use it for journaling space. Um, so there's that and then I need one more piece for the flap here. So I'm just going to trim the top again from that so I can line it up better. And still all folding well if it if you got it a little bit too close to the creases it doesn't really matter when you got really thin book page like this although that one probably I should have uh, made a little bit farther from there because I'm going to have a little bit of that I'll work on that I can ink a little bit there and it'll be fine so I'll just put another little bit of glue here. And just even like that, I think. And just a little bit of tacky glue along here. And this one I want to trim also this edge. that up. Do this one. I'll just put a tad away from the, the seam that, or the fold. That's probably a smarter idea. Okay, and then trim that off. And I had already rounded the edges of these, uh, of the flap here. It's probably best to do that together with the the book page but I was just sort of thinking as I was doing it so I'll just round those off Something like that and there we have our little pouch thing so I am going to do just a little bit of inking on these edges here I just had had another thought. I think maybe I will because I um, have that little bit coming up there. I think I'll put a little piece of washi tape there and uh, that'll solve that problem. I mean it, it looks all right like that anyways but see what we got here. 
Oh, I might just even use this one. Just put a little bit of glue. Washi tape is not always a permanent thing. So I usually help it a, a little bit with a bit of glue. And just put that in the center there. Adds interest to your project anyways when you add the layers, so that looks good to me. And then I think just for consistency, I'm going to put one on this fold as well on the inside. It also strengthens your fold, so it's kind of a win-win there. I'll just pretend I planned that all along. I'm going to take this over to my sewing machine and I'm just going to sew around the entire perimeter here and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've sewn all around the perimeter and I decided to um, put a pocket here and a, a long vertical pocket there. And then I also stitched in um, two papers, just a ledger paper and one of the papers from the, the kit and uh, just made a little booklet. And here I just sewed down the, the middle with my sewing machine. I put a piece of uh, washi tape on the front and the back before I sewed just to give it a little bit reinforcement there. And then I um, took one of the labels from the kit and I'll, I'll put a uh, title on that at some point when I'm ready for that. And I just glued the well, first I took the label and I glued it onto some heavier cardstock as well so that it's a little stiffer. And then I just glued this half on and then this half is off to let that be the closure. So then what I'm going to do to glue this in is, you know, there's various ways you can do it. You can just stick it into a pocket like that. Um, you could glue it on three sides and make it a pocket there. You could glue it on these three sides and make it a pocket here. But what I'm going to do is just to glue these two sides and make it into a belly band. So I'll show you how that's going to work. These things can be personalized endlessly, basically, but this is what was in my dream, so this is what I'm going with. And this moves out just a little bit here. Okay. Just give that a moment to dry. And then I probably will have these notes that I'm doing for each uh, part of the study. So my plan is to just use this as a belly band to stick my, my glue is still wet there, but so my notes will fit perfectly in there as a belly band. And then I can also use this for extra journaling. I can put my, uh, Library cards or different things in there. Um, that will fit there. I think it will probably fit in there as well. So, so lots of different options there. And I think that's going to be a nice little addition. So if you want, give that a try. I just wanted to show you, I also cut um, two and a half inches off the, the um, I guess it would be the width of the paper. So this is also 11 inches wide this way and two and a half inches tall. So I decided to, to line this one with uh, Bible page as well. And I stitched around it and then I can use this one for another belly band if I want to. I can use, um, stitch those two or glue those two sides. I can put another closure thing there. This can open up. You can put journaling space or pocket or something in there. Or you could also use it um, as a matchbook. You could put a little paper that the writing's going to be upside down for me there, but um, or you could just do it as a little bit of a, you know, just sort of a booklet sort of thing that you tuck into one of the, your pockets. So, um, but I think it would work fabulous as another belly band. So I may do that as well. So just wanted to pop on and show you that one more thing. Blessings.